Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, the package I've been waiting from from Banggood has hopefully finally arrived. I assume this is the Banggood package. Let's have a look. For the long range sub 250 FPV project, what do we have? Ooh, ooh, look at this, eh? It's all stuck together. I don't know. It's in the bag. A couple of the very cheap but seemingly pretty good GPS receivers. Um, these are, I think they were $12 New Zealand. $12 New Zealand each. It's pretty damn good, isn't it? And yeah, they're pretty light. That's, that's not bad. Um, here I have, uh, I got a super light antenna for my R9 to replace the vertical whip because I want to do a comparison between the vertical whip and this and just see how, how much, if any, difference this makes. This is the little, it's a, what we call a folded dipole. Folded dipole. And, uh, Hmm, don't know. I guess we will find out. And there should be a flight controller in here somewhere. Yes, and oh, I got one of the super cheap 600 milliwatt video transmitters. Now these things get a bit hot, but and it is summer, so I don't know if it's going to last, but I will put some extra heat sinking on it, or at least put it in a place where it's going to get lots of airflow, just to show you. I think it's the 5258 or something silly like, like that, if I can get it out of the box. Let's have a look. What is it? It's the 58. 28L, it's L, so it's got the, LC, uh, the, the LED display, which is much better than the fiddly little dip switches. So hopefully that'll give us, I could only get the RPSMA one, damn, never mind, but I'll make a make sure I get that uh, going. And there should also be somewhere here, yes, uh, this is Omnibus F4 Nano V6, okay. Now they did say this was actually a genuine, um, uh, what is it, earbot or something, I forget what it was, something or other, but it looks like it's a been good clone. I don't know if it's a genuine one or not. Let me get the bag out. What does it say in the instructions? Yeah, I think this is a clone. But um, modifications. What I the reason I got this is it's obviously it's 20 mil between holes, which means it's small and light. And there are a number of 20 mil flight controls, but this one had a barometer. So at least it said it had a barometer. Yet yeah, barometer and OSD so this will give me our flight controller capabilities so this is you know basically the missing building blocks for this ultralight system the, probably the heaviest bit is the FPV transmitter but I mean a lot of that's the antenna we'll get rid of that so now now I can get on with the airframe putting it all together doing some test flights I'll reprogram this with iNav and we'll start doing some serious test flights with oh I did order a 900, another 900 megahertz uh, R9 mini but that has to come from Hong Kong for some reason, and it's only just shipped, so that'll be a couple of weeks away, I suspect, before we get there. But I do have an R9 here that I can use in the meantime, uh, but I was going to put in the bonsai, but I will, um, all this stuff is going into the super ultra light. Well, it's going to be sub 250, but what I've decided to do is, um, obviously we're going to use some 18650 cells eventually. I've got the 1000 milliamp LiPo I'll use in the meantime, which gives us a good reference against the bonsai in terms of flight times. But I'm going to switch to an 18650 uh, Panasonic pack, which will give me 3500 milliampere hours at seven, well, 8 volts roughly, 7.4 volts, which is pretty damn good. That should give awfully long flight times. The only trouble with the two cell setup is that some of these things require um, a little more than, how many volts does this say it'll work on? doesn't say. Hang on a minute. Um, yeah, if, if you've got a video transmitter that needs 7 volts upwards, then those two cell lithium ion packs can drop below 7 volts quite early on. What does it say? Yeah, 7 to, oops, just dropped it on the floor. It's buggered now. Hang on. 7 to 24 volts. So running that off a lithium ion pack is, nah, I don't know, it's probably not going to be the best. It'll, it'll start getting a bit soft when it, the battery starts dropping down because you can get right down to 5 volts on a two cell lithium ion pack. And that would mean this video transmitter would have given up the ghost long ago. So I may have to put a boost circuit in there just to lift the voltage up from whatever it is to the to seven or eight volts to drive this thing safely. So we'll see what happens. Lots of playing around. That's why I got all this stuff because there's a lot of unknowns. There's a lot of things that should work, probably won't work. And a lot of workarounds we'll have to, you know, try out to see if they will work. And that's the fun of the whole thing, isn't it? That's where we have so much fun. So I'll be doing all that for you and then the build project, you just have to follow step A, B, C, D, and hopefully you'll get a craft that is uh, sub 250 with really excellent capabilities. So now, 
Um, I'm going to put this back in the bags so I don't lose it because I'm so good at losing stuff. And I'm going to um, start chopping up some foam board. First version of the Sub 250 foam board. I've got a few interesting concepts which I'll explain in an upcoming video. Um, this plane may not have, it's, it's not going to be a flying wing. It's not going to be a flying wing, but it may not have elevators. So work that out. And it's not a canard. See if you can work out what I'm going to do. It's going to be a V-tail and it's not going to have elevators. Hmm. Interesting, isn't it? Anyway, I'll leave you with that. Time to get on with getting on. Thanks for my Patreon supporters. Much appreciated. That's what makes this happen.